Hi guys, uh, this is the Flash Porter photo video backup and storage device. Um, in this video clip, I'm going to go through um, the backup process um, and take you through um, the steps of doing the backup process, um, selecting the source, selecting the target, and different options that you have during the backup. So um, for the backup, we're going to use our SD card here. And um, you'll see that I have, this is my um, internal drive of Flash Porter. I'm going to open this up put in the SD card into the SD card slot. Uh, once that's in, um, it's going to pop up automatically the menu. And this is the menu that pertains to the SD card. Um, so I can do backup, I can do view, I can do get info, and I can eject. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go right into the backup. And when I go into backup, uh, it's going to automatically select source up here um, as the SD card. And in the target, it's going to autofill. Um, uh, the HD is the internal drive, the backup folder, in this file sequence. So um, 16 is 2016, uh, 07 is July 7th. Um, obviously, it's not today's date, but um, and 11, which happens to be my brother's birthday, um, but July 11. And it tells you that the card format is SD. Um, if you have a CF card, it would be CF. If you were using a micro SD card, it would say MSD. Um, and if you were using a USB drive, it would say USB. Um, so you can move the cursor up and down. Um, if you want, you can select a different source. So um, if you don't want to back up the whole SD card and you just want to back up a particular folder, you can do that. Um, so now I'm only backing up um, that particular folder on the SD card. Um, here, um, I, just the same, I can go and I can modify um, where the target goes. Now, um, in this, um, basically it's showing me um, my file location on the hard drive. So I can go back. Um, if I really want, I can copy it back to itself on the SD, but that would be silly. Um, so I'm going to go and select HD here. I'm going to go in the backup folder. Um, I can select an existing folder. So if I want to do incremental copies um, or just put, you know, different copies in the same folder, I can do that. Um, if I need to, I can rename the folder that's here. Um, and I can also create a new folder. So for this example, let me go ahead and create a new folder. Um, and I'm going to use um, the keyboard up here. I'm going to keep the date, um, but I'll just call it ABC, just, you know, to let, let us identify it easier. Um, so I'm going to go um, 6, 7, 11, ABC. Um, so I have that selected here. Uh, whoa, I lost it. Um, 6, 7, oh, where did it go? 6, 7, 11, ABC. And then I'm going to go here, click select. Um, I can have it turn off after completion, so if I'm doing a copy and it's going to take a while, um, I can set up to do the copy and then it'll automatically turn off after completion. Um, and if, you know, if that makes you a little bit nervous, uh, remember that there's a copy log, so you can always go in and check the copy log after the copy's done. Um, and that'll let you um, check that all the files have been copied, how many files have been copied. And there's also a verification. Uh, you know, the copy program does its own checks on verification. So it'll tell you if there were any um, errors during the copy or not. Um, cancel, obviously, is cancel. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start this copy. Um, and this is the copy progress screen. During the copy, I have the option to pause it. So if I want, in, I can pause the copy and it stopped. Uh, just in case I need to check something or there was something that, um, that wasn't quite right, um, instead of just canceling the copy and stopping it, um, um, I can just pause it. And then, you know, I can resume it after that. And then you'll see that there's a stop also. Um, uh, and if you want to stop the copy in the middle, everything that had been copied will be there, but it'll just, um, you know, discontinue the copying. Um, so if you wanted to stop this and go back and delete that, you can do that. So I'm going to let it go, um, resume copy, and just let it go through. Um, not a lot of files here, not very big files, but I just wanted to get through this, this demo with you. Um, in the copy, you'll see that you can identify the source, the target. It'll tell you how many files were copied. The progress bar was there, but it's gone now. Um, this is the copy summary. It'll tell you how many files were copied, the capacity of the files copied, uh, the copy verification here and then the average speed of the copy and the total time it took to copy. Um, notice there that we're going to fix that, so don't worry about that. Um, after the copy is done, you can go into the log. If you want, you can go in directly and view, um, view the copy log. And again, it tells you, um, you know, the date, the start time, the end time, how much time it took, the source, uh, total capacity copied, number of folders that were copied, number of files that were copied, um, average transfer speed, and, you know, all the good stuff. Um, and then you'll see um, the path of all the files that were copied, um, and you can go through the whole list. 
Um, so that's the copy log. Uh, view will take me directly to um, this backup folder. So um, I can do that and then I get into the folder view and I can see all these files that were copied. Um, that's UC Berkeley, go Bears. Um, and then I can go back from here and then once I'm done and I'm happy with everything, I do okay and it just brings me back to the home screen. Um, now that that's done, uh, what I can do is uh, press the menu on the SD card. So I'm on the SD card, I press the menu, uh, do eject, and then that'll kind of disconnect it and um, you can safely remove it. Um, and then you're done. So that's the copy. Um, and um, if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment. Um, other questions, you can always email us too. Thank you.